File formats. Everyone's got their go-to favorite file formats when saving images. Maybe you've heard that one is better than the other for whatever reason, or perhaps you're the expert who saves all his images as JPEGs. In this video, we'll compare different image file types and break down the results in context of CGI rendering. We'll compare PNGs, Targas, JPEGs, TIFFs, and EXRs to decide once and for all which is the ultimate image file format. Let's meet our contenders. First, we've got the lightweight JPEG, or Joint Photographic Experts Group, standing in at 8 bits per channel and sporting lossy file compression, making this an extremely light file type, but will it be able to compete with the big boys without alpha support? Second, there's the Raster Master, Targa. Lossless RLE compression, alpha channel support, but unfortunately, also limited to 8 bits per channel. Next, we've got the Everyman's PNG, or Portable Network Graphics. With up to 16 bits per channel, alpha support, and lossless deflate file compression, the PNG is a versatile contender. Then, we have the Infallible TIFF, aka Tagged Image File Format, HDR Graphics, Lossless Zip, and LZW Compression, up to 32 bits per channel, and of course, an alpha channel. This format is not messing around. Finally, the Heavyweight EXR, developed by ILM, coming in strong with multiple lossless compression options, up to 32 bits per channel, HDR support, and alpha. Any format going up against this guy is going to have its work cut out. Let's step into the ring with our first trial. There are two general methods for image file compression, lossy and lossless. Lossless means that even when the image file is compressed and the file size is reduced, the image quality will remain the same as the original, whereas lossy compression will reduce the quality of the image output. JPEG is the only one of our contenders that does not support lossless file compression. This means that the image quality gets worse as the file is compressed. Poor JPEGs can't even keep its image quality consistent. Another feature JPEGs do not support is an alpha channel. Essentially that means transparency, whereas other formats such as PNGs and Targas can be cut out with transparency and later pasted on top of any other background. In this round, we exported an identical image at 8 bits in multiple file formats in order to test the resulting file sizes. And as expected, JPEGs resulted in the smallest file size, followed closely by Targas and PNGs, with TIFFs trailing behind as the largest file format. However, JPEGs, as we now know, reduces the quality of the image and cannot support transparency. EXRs, however, do not support 8 bits per channel, and so it had to be tested separately against TIFFs at 32 bits, where it ended up being lighter than TIFF regardless of the compression used. Not bad for our heavyweight. The next challenge is bit depth. Bit depth refers to the number of bits used to represent each pixel in an image. Images saved at higher bit depths have larger ranges of colors and shades available, where lower bit depth images store less information, meaning color bin. JPEGs and Targas are exclusively only capable of 8 bits per channel, which limits their potential image quality. PNGs can go up to 16 bits, which can be useful in cases where covering a large color gamut is required. EXRs and TIFFs are the only two big boys with 32-bit HDR capabilities. They can cover a high dynamic range of colors, resulting in very high image quality. In the context of 3D rendering, there are certain cases where you'd be better off with 16-bit or 32-bit textures. In most cases, you can get away with 8 bits per channel in texture channels such as diffuse color or specular roughness maps, and no one would ever know. However, you will start noticing artifacts when using 8-bit normal maps on reflective objects. This is where a 16-bit texture can be used instead to get rid of color bin issues and other artifacts. When baking displacement, you'll often notice a greater fidelity to the original high-res mesh with the amount of range provided by a 32-bit displacement map. So depending on your needs, you should now have a better idea for which image file to use to fit your needs. JPEGs can be handy if you don't care for image quality or transparency and you're only looking for something light. PNGs and Targas are mostly interchangeable unless you need to take advantage of the 16-bit feature only provided by PNGs, such as when rendering normal maps. Otherwise, TIFFs and EXRs can handle the heavy lifting if a high dynamic range image is desired. EXRs tend to be lighter than TIFFs by default and can be expanded into multi-layered files where you can bundle up multiple render passes into a single image, making EXRs our ultimate image file format. That's it for image file formats. Be sure to let us know what your favorite file format is in the comments below.